Get your popcorn ready, folks. Cannon Air Force Base will be rocking on April 22nd with the Wings Over Cannon Air Show. The whole point of this is to open things up for the community and, and expose the community to some of the things that, that we get to see here every day. And they've got some pretty cool things on the lineup, too. But we're also bringing in the A-10 demo team. So that's, uh, you know, a, a bit of a faster moving demonstration team. They're going to be able to do some uh, aerobatics and those types of things to get every, you know, to, to, to show off their capabilities as well. Ospreys, U-28s, some of the biggest cannons you've ever seen, all will be on display. Even an MQ-9 Reaper drone, believed to be the first time the public's ever seen one up close in an air show. Well, we actually fly it out of a ground control station. So our cockpit that we fly out of is actually physically dislocated from the aircraft. He tells us the MQ-9 can serve in multiple capacities with a long range of flight time. We're designed to be long endurance though, so we can fly for pretty close to a full day. We carry a variety of payload, payloads. Uh, we can carry Hellfire missiles. We can carry bombs uh, of the 500 pound variety. Another cool aircraft that'll be featured in the show, you've seen it exclusively on KAMR Local 4, the Air Force's newest baby, the AC-130J gunship. 30 millimeter or 105 millimeter cannon, and that's pretty much the uh, the reason that they call us the gunship. In addition to that, the munitions we carry on this aircraft are Hellfires, GBU-39s, as well as uh, the uh, common launch tube munitions, the uh, Griffin, as well as the uh, small glide munition. Major Riley Feeney is an evaluator pilot on the AC-130J. He says the most exciting part about the show... Show them what it's like to reload the 105 and the 30 millimeter and, and sort of show us the high paced tempo it is whenever this aircraft is flying. It's really cool to have the opportunity to really truly show them what we do because I forget that not everyone speaks the lingo that I speak and it's really awesome to kind of give them that look into what it's like to be an air commando and what we do on base. Serving the community one aircraft at a time. In Clovis, Rochelle Hamilton Jr., KMR, Local 4 News.